Hi, this is Jillian Michaels, and you're listening to Hannah and Dane on Flavor HD. Your love for radio, you know, because you're famous so much on the TV side, radio but to love that spontaneity. Best, man. Radio is just the best because it is. It's spontaneous. It's truthful. It's pure. You can do what you want. You can say what you want. You can be who you are. And there's no one telling you what you can and can't do and manipulating what you say. And it's just, I love it. I love the medium. Love it. Well, you're so well known for the fitness side of things, but still, I think really early on in your career, is there any other things that you've been wanting to do? Like you want to maybe become a chef or something like that or, oh. or get into like, you know, uh, downhill skiing. I mean, something where you can kind of lend your talents to something completely different. You know, for me, um, it's more right now about exploring other areas of living better. So I'm more interested in interviewing parenting experts, interviewing career experts, money experts, because when I look at my life in my 30s, my late 30s, I think like, okay, I want to think about my retirement. I want to parent my kids when they eventually arrive, <laughs> hopefully sooner than later, um, you know, as best as I can. And so it's a journey every day on being better, living better, living happier, living healthier. And I just want to take the audience with me. And I'll always have my area of expertise, my wheelhouse, which is, of course, you know, fitness, nutrition, weight loss. But it's all those other areas of our lives that health touches that I want to explore now. So what's the downside? Because of your schedule and everything, you weren't able to do as much with the radio as you'd like to, but the podcasting is helping with that. you got to travel. I mean, you're in demand. I mean, what's the downside? Is that it, the well, hectic get, schedule? This year is actually great for me because I have some time, um, you know, until I have to go back to TV. And it's, it's nice. It's like you get to you know you get to smell the roses a little bit and you get to you know you get to do things like this or you get to go take a horseback riding lesson once in a while or it's kind of it's not as bad like I'm working but I'm not working 15 hours Monday through Sunday and that's when I started to just think like I can't stand this anymore like I'm exhausted so I, I'm really just hoping like I took a lot of this time so that when my daughter comes home I can spend time with her and it's just like, I'm in the final stages of that. So, so the schedule isn't unbearable right now. It's normal. Well, a lot of perks, and like you said, smelling the roses, last thing is, you know, what has it been like just being so in demand? Are you surprised how just what you do, how you do it has resonated with so many people? It's so funny you say that. Um, I don't really see myself as being in demand. Um, I guess because I always think about the things I haven't accomplished, which I tell people not to do. Like climbing the Matterhorn or something? I always tell them not to do that. It's like focus on the things that you have achieved. But I'm always thinking about the things I want to achieve. Um, but I would say, like, if, if I was to comment about, like, oh, you've, you've been successful. And, uh, you know, and I, and I, ha I have been very fortunate. Uh, I would say it's because I'm pretty honest. I mean, I, I say what yep. I think and... You know, I'm also not really like uh, you're sort of, I'm not really a fitness guru. I'm a person who wants to, again, wants to live better and has used fitness to do so. But I'm not the person that loves the wheat grass shot or the <laughs> yoga class or, you know, I don't. I, I'm like, oh, God, you know, I do those things because I want to look better. I want to feel better. I want to live longer. And I think most people, they relate, I think. So you're just constantly driving to be the best you that you can be and help other people do the same thing. Pretty much. For me, it's always an exploration in my own, like with the weight loss stuff, it's because I was an overweight kid. Like I didn't get into this because I thought, gosh, I want to make the world healthier. I got into it because I wanted to wear skinny jeans. I was getting picked on in school. You know what I, and then I was like, well, and I was young, I was in my 20s. And then I was like, how do I look my, you know, you're in your 20s. You want to look great. You want to wear a bikini and crap. So at that point, it was about that, and I just became great at what I did, and I made a living at it. Um, and for me now, you know, my next journey is being a responsible adult, just learning about retirement, learning how to parent kids, uh, you know, learning how to take better care of the planet, better care of myself spiritually. And so for me, it's always about what's going on in my life. Whatever I'm talking about, whatever I'm doing is something that's going on in my life. That's why it's, it's like... It's not a business for me. I do what I love no matter how much money it makes me or it doesn't make me. Like the podcast, I lose $30,000 a year doing that. It's my favorite thing on the planet. <laughs> I walked wow. away from Biggest Loser. I made millions of dollars a year. So for me, I just, I do what I love. Wow. That's great. Stay in truth. Jillian, thanks for being in Flavor HD. Thank you, guys. Thank you.